Hey everyone and welcome back to another one of my cryptocurrency update videos and today is going to be a bit different before I get into my VeChain analysis I'm going to be talking about a really really amazing opportunity for you which I guarantee a good few of you will be interested in. So my partner Louis has a crypto academy where he teaches for Forex and crypto, mostly crypto. So for the crypto packages, you can have a six hour crypto course for £250, you will get access for life to 30 plus videos over six hours of content. You'll be taught how to read the charts and trade by yourself. And this is so important. If you wanna make it in this industry, yes, watching YouTube videos is great. You get a basic idea of what's going on, but to make yourself successful, so you, you're guaranteed to win in this market, it's really important that you learn how to read the charts yourself. It becomes so much easier. You don't have to rely on anyone else. You want to rely on yourself. That's the only person you really have to make yourself successful. So you'll have full psychological lessons, mindset and emotions. You'll have a crypto portfolio consultation, so like a one-to-one -one call access to his discord chat until the end of the bull run and it includes over 10,000s worth of training and information and three years of experience in the market and you know you, you can't get much more experience than that I mean the amount of trouble me and Louis went into gaining our information paying money losing money paying to the wrong people but here you have a secure someone who's so secure someone who you can trust um to make you successful well, you have to make yourself successful. He can give you all the tools, all the resources, all the knowledge you need to know to make it in this market. Another, the next step up from the crypto course, so that was a £250 six hour crypto course. However, what I would say that's more worth it is the one-on-one -on -one mentorship video calls. This is when you and him, just you two, are in a live chat, in a live call, you know, sharing your screens, learning. You have 20 hours of lessons and you get everything that I've just mentioned in from the crypto course included in that as well, plus the 20 hours of one-to-one -one lesson where you will get, you know, the inside outs of how to read this market, how we trade, how we use our tools on the charts, everything you need to know for you to succeed will be given to you. So if you are interested, just let me know in the comments to say, Abby, I'm interested in the course or the mentorship or I want more information or I want to speak to Louis, then please comment down below. You will not regret it. Anyway, onto the V chain chart finally. So in my last video, I added these two levels here. We have one at 0 0.022 cent and we have one at 0 0.01 cent. And I said, you know, looking in the past, this is a huge key level of support and resistance, which we really, to be positive, we want to be holding. And since then, it was five days ago, in this five days, we've had a short term push up. And now I'm looking, okay, we've hit our 20 moving average here. Are we gonna have another pull down? Which could, in fact, make a very small W pattern here, double bottom here, double bottom here. And that is where I think we're gonna have a short term push up. And that would take us to about here, the 55 moving average. And when you hit the 55 moving average, you're either going to reject it, and that's when we're going to find our support down here again, or we're going to flip on the flip side, we're going to hold it as support, reaching up back into our previous key support areas, 0.044 cent, which obviously is what we want. However, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. I'm giving you both sides here to know. Obviously, if we came back down to here and lost this, we're just going to probably free fall down to this area 0 to 0 0.01 cent, which obviously isn't ideal for us, but we have no control, as we know. So I'm going to start by doing a small flip here, swing low to swing high there, because I want to see where we need to get above to kind of break through these levels and break into our next higher levels up here. And I can see here that, you know, the key thing here, we need to be getting above the 1618. It's very positive that we've held the two because that's two strong areas here um, that are holding us up. So that's gonna make it much harder for us to fall down past this level, which is definitely a positive thing. But ideally, we need to be getting back above 0 to 0.028 cent to get above our 1618 to take us then up to our one fib level. Of course, we have these 1.272 and the 1414, which could either stop us out on the way or carry us as support. That's what we don't know yet until we reach those levels, okay? So we could end up making a short-term high to the 1414, coming back in and around this area of consolidation here, 
And we, that is when we could find ourselves consolidating again, which wouldn't be a bad thing as long as we can get that momentum to push us above the 1414, above the 1.272, which would mean that on the daily time frame, we are above our moving averages, which is very important. It is a key aspect of reading the charts, in my opinion. That's what helps me a lot. Um, so that's one option here. That's one factor that we need to do. So I've given you some targets, some prices there to look out for in the next week or so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my opposite fear and I'm going to go swing high to swing low this time. It's always good to add two charts because two charts, two sets of fibs, you know, the more confirmation, the more levels you have. And again here, not this, not the 1618, but we can see getting above the 0236 would mean that obviously we're in our consolidation area again, but once again, getting above the 55, hitting that 0 0.382 level would be fantastic. And this fib here is a hypothetical fib, meaning if this is the bottom, which we don't know, of course, but it's, hypothetically speaking, if it is the bottom, then getting above our 382 is our first key level at 0 0.035 cents, because that brings us above our moving averages, above this nonsense here, and hopefully we'll be taking us above our key support here, the 5 fib level, one, the 0 0.618, and finally the 1 back at previous highs which would be incredible when this, I say it quickly, it's not going to happen quickly and it might not happen at all, who knows. But I do want to spread some positivity and this is what the chart's telling me. I'm not making this up, I'm not chatting any shit, it's here in front of you and in front of me as well. Which is why it's so important to learn because I rely on myself, I don't need to rely on anyone else. Yes, I want to help you guys, but you know, how amazing would it be to help yourself to successfully be able to live freely you know crypto is here to give us freedom but no one apparently wants it no one wants to put in that work everyone would rather have their nine to five you know work their whole life away that's not how we're meant to live guys and you know you should we should take opportunities when we are presented with it so if you're watching this video there was a reason why you were meant to hear about the course about the crypto mentorship meaning take it as a sign to do something for yourself that is going to lead you to freedom. Anyway, I'm going to look on the four hour time frame now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Obviously, and my next goal is I want to get to 350 subs. That would be incredible. Anyway, back to the chart. And this works a lot better now, actually, because I can do a fib from this swing high to swing low down here. It's a smaller fib, so yes, you know, it's not as accurate, but the four hour time frame is still valid. And I still says the same. If we can get above the 0 0.618, our next target is the one fib level, 0 0.033 cent. And remember, on the higher time frame, I said we need to be getting above 0 0.035 cent to achieve these next higher targets, um, which is a great thing. Four hour time frame, we could, we could see some short term upside. And that short term upside could be getting above the 0 0.618 and heading to that one we could then come back that all the way down here for more support confirmation for the higher time frames. We need some more touches on this on the daily, on the weekly, but we have got some nice strong touches of support on the four hour. And here we've made a higher low, higher than this low. So that's also confirmation that we could be having some short term uptrend. Obviously, if we did break the one, our next target is the 1618 breaking above this key area of support on the 0 0.044 cent. Now that would be very positive because we've broken above all of this area of consolidation here, all of this sideways moving, which has some really strong supports and some really strong resistance. So getting it above this area would be fantastic. And that is kind of all I've got to show you for today, guys. Not really many chart patterns at the moment. We're keeping it simple, just giving us levels that we need to break above or giving us levels that if we do hit, we're going to have a reaction. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you are interested in the crypto course or the crypto mentorship, please comment down below and I'll give you some extra information. Do something for yourself to change your future. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Goodbye.